You guys, we have a very special treat for you today. Not only is Julie Steinis joining us, but she also brings probably our most famous guest today, <laughs> Norbert, the social media star and therapy dog. Look at how cute oh, Norbert is. Look at the tongue sticking out. Norbert so is adorable. Cute. So So Norbert is first and foremost, he's a registered therapy dog. Okay. Um, and that means he has a special registration where we can volunteer at places like nursing homes and hospitals, um, special events, basically to bring joy and comfort to people in Aww. need. Norbert, How does a dog become a registered sit? therapy dog? And that's a that, that's a great question. So um, I mean, looking adorable <laughs> like this probably that's is a good way. start, right? No, yeah, um, his handsome looks don't hurt. <laughs> um, he actually, Norbert's also very smart. He not only has good looks, um, and he had to pass a series of evaluations. He's registered with an organization called Pet Partners. And then I also had to pass like a, a test as well. And um, after all that, they be become registered. And, you know, it's not only about obedience with a therapy dog, but they have to actually enjoy like spending time with people. Right. It doesn't want to be stressful for the animal. Sure. Right. Absolutely. And he loves it. I mean, he's like belly rubs and treats. I'll take <laughs> it all day long. Where are some of the you places know? you brought Norbert? Um, we, so right now we volunteer at Children's Los Angeles, but we have been to, ooh, oh, bless, bless you. you. <laughs> the cutest oh. sneeze ever. Um, we used to volunteer at um, Boston Children's Hospital because we used to live in Boston. And we've been to nursing homes, um, fundraisers, special events, uh, all kinds of places, even private visits. Oh, my goodness. So when yeah. did you decide to go through this training with Norbert? Well, somebody, when he was just a few months old, saw him and said, you know, he would make a great therapy dog, just a random person, wow. you know, and wow. I didn't even That's know crazy. what so it was. they put that in your ear, and then you went and followed I'd up. I yeah. honestly never heard of a therapy dog until this interview right now. Yeah, yeah, and it it's remarkable the way that he can walk into a, children, a child's hospital room and just change the entire uh. mood. It's so sweet. It's so touching. And it's such an honor to do, yeah. you know, this type of um, volunteer work. And, yeah, this woman just, like you said, put it in my head. And you went and followed up, and you are like, that, she's on to something. Yeah, exactly. And, but l let me tell you, I knew when he was a puppy when I first got him that he was special. Yeah. I just really didn't know why or how. Have you had other dogs? No, no. He's your first dog. dog. Yeah. And you rescued Norbert. Yeah. And he's a mutt. We don't know his breed. Mm -hmm. Well, you do know he's a mix of certain things. He, yeah, I actually had a DNA test oh, done. Oh, you did the swab? Uh, I did. I want to do that for mine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I do too, for my own self. <laughs> Chihuahua, Karen Terrier, Lhasa Apso. Okay. So, wow. Yeah, and he came from Pet Finder is where I found So sweet. Now, Norbert has kind of an interesting story in your personal life and your your husband, correct? Yes. Norbert was the matchmaker. He is. He's like a mini Cupid. Mini Patty Stanger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He, um... It's it's a remarkable, it's like a fa modern day fairy tale, really, and sometimes I can't believe it. But Norbert um, and I were guests on my husband's show, which is called Home and Family on the mm -hmm, Hallmark Channel. Mm -hmm. And we were there to talk about, uh, I know you know Mark, and yeah. we were there to talk about uh, the work of therapy dogs. And he has a, a little book series, and we <laughs> talked about that, um, which is another great story. But um He's we met. Falling asleep, and sorry. He's like boring, oh. Maddie. I've heard this story. Do you need a treat? Is that what's going on? Oh, happen? the ears. Can we take oh, we'll get in. back to the story. Can we take a, a treat? Yeah, let's check out this treat. Wait, where is Norbert it? Needs to hear, the what's ears. his favorite treat? Anything. Oh like, my he, God. look at his eyes. He is food super. motivated. That is. He reminds me of Gizmo <laughs> from uh, Gremlins. Logo. Yeah. He's like, I get that a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. That is so Okay, cute. let's save the rest for later. So, so you, you were a guest. Yes. Yeah. So um, on Mark's show, and we just, we fell in love. I mean, there's a, a lot more to the story than that, but I ended up moving here six weeks after we met. Oh, my gosh. And my, our first date was a red carpet event, which was... <laughs> I, I, I'd never even worn makeup before, and I was just turned into this Whisked like away. princess. It oh was spectacular, and he's an amazing man, and I'm very lucky. <laughs> Mark is a great man. I actually interned at Entertainment Tonight. It was my first internship, and Mark was hosting the show at the time, and was yep. so kind and so awesome. And so I'm so that's amazing. Yeah, this is weird. I always knew that Norbert, because I hadn't even been on a date 
for a year before I met Mark. And I always knew Norbert would lead me to my husband and that once I met him, everything would happen really fast. And it no sure did. Way. So fast. So wow. you, Disney is, you need to get the rights to your story before Disney steals it. It's like beautiful princess waiting <laughs> yeah. in a lake with a house <laughs> right. and a dog a and then goes to Hollywood and Bye. slept off your feet. It's it's almost unbelievable, but there's it's, it's really great to have the support of the Norbert Hood and people who have followed us on this journey, you know, and I, I really appreciate that too, because that has helped propel us forward. Every time I, I want to say, maybe it's time to stop or, or anytime I wanted to quit, I would just get some little encouragement, yeah. you know, from people out there who believed in us and in the Norbster. With moving to LA and obviously people might think you have this fairy tale story of meeting Mark and Norbert. What are some of the hardships that you've had to come through with the book and all the business and the, the therapy dog and, and how do you overcome it? That is a really great question. And I was just thinking about that the other night because I was watching a show um, called Shark Tank. And I used mm -hmm. to sit in my little, like I had a, a very small house up on a hill that overlooked a big lake. It was just me and Norbert. And I would just sit every Friday night at home and work and work and watch Shark Tank. And I, I had no really life outside of trying to build this little publishing company with my mother. And I put every every penny I had on the mm. line, you know, everything. Um, and I just kept saying to myself, I have to follow my heart. My mother and I both did. And I remember one day specifically sitting in the living room overlooking the pond and we th we were thinking about our second picture book and what the cover should be. And going along with this theme of following our heart, we both looked out the window and there was this red heart-shaped balloon just floating over the lake. And so oh, there's wow. a heart on every page in his second book kind of to represent that. And so all kinds of signs have guided us along the way, but I mean, I worked so hard to get where we are and I still feel like we have so much more good work to do. Also have a stuffed animal. Like is he, he a has a doll? he's a plush doll or something. Yeah, he does. We actually just came out with it like a few weeks ago. And for everyone that's purchased, oh no, he's peeing. Oh, he's got a little peepee. -pee. <laughs> he's just like us. He did that in, in the, the video. Yes. Good job, Boy. Norbert is normal, real. He's a normal dog, guys. He's got a pee too. Not a robot. <laughs> Thank you, Norbert. Thank you. His plush toy does not do that. <laughs>